Kitty cats. We're cute. But I'm cuter. Me, Me wow. wow. Lifeguards. One day, the kittens and Daddy were visiting Grandpa. <sighs> what a perfect day for fishing. I'll sail out a little way and catch a whopper that's humongous. So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! Kittens, we'll be fishing closer to shore than your father will be, but you still need to wear your life jackets. Back in my lifeguard days, cats would sail with no life jackets at all. Were you really a lifeguard, Grandpa? So cool. That must have been the coolest. <laughs> Lifeguards just like Grandpa. Wait a minute. Who are we supposed to save? There's no one here but the fish and the seagulls. You got that right. No one to save out here. So let's just catch some fish. It's fun if you give it a chance. <laughs> No, almost lost it. Oh, yeah. Let's toss this overboard and then rescue it from the water like real lifeguards. No, it'll get soaking wet. Shh, kitties. You'll scare the fish. Hey, Candy, what if you were to jump in the water and we could save you? Come on. You're wearing a life vest. But that's not fair. It's your idea. You jump in. Then Pudding and I will save you. Huh? No way! I don't want to be saved. I want to be the saver. <coughs> oh, we can save the fish from the seagulls. <coughs> oh. Hey, burgling bird. Hmm. Aw, we make lousy lifeguards, don't we? Uh-huh, I got a bite! Oh, dear. Oh, oh, you're a big fella, aren't you? Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> uh, oh boy. Ah! Daddy had accidentally turned the boat motor on. Huh? Help! Huh? Oh. Daddy! Daddy! My son! Uh, oh. Attention, it's time for a real rescue operation. <laughs> Daddy, the lifeguards are coming. Now grab my paws. But Daddy got swept up by the current. Kittens, throw your daddy this rope and pull him to the boat just like a fish on a hook. <laughs> oh. Our paws were too slippery to hold on. We're the worst lifeguards ever. <laughs> Good idea. We'll catch Daddy with our fishing rods. A wonderful idea, Candy. Let's do it. So the kittens went daddy fishing. <laughs> You've really caught a big one, kittens. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, kittens. You just saved your daddy. That means you're real lifeguards. And don't worry about the broken rods. I'll buy you some new ones as a reward for saving my sweet little boy here. <laughs> my boat. Grandpa turned off the motor on Daddy's boat. Careful now, or we'll have to save Daddy all over again. <laughs> <laughs> that evening, everyone enjoyed the fish Daddy caught, and the kittens told Mommy all about their rescue mission. Let's learn new things with kitty cats.
Choose a topic and let's learn. At Daddy's work. One day, Daddy came home from work very tired. Oh. Daddy's home! Hey, Daddy, play tag with us. You're it. Come on, Dad. I'm sorry, kittens, but it was a hard day at work and I'm exhausted. But you work at a candy factory. What's hard about that? Yeah, it's the greatest job of all time. <laughs> Your office probably has a chocolate river. <laughs> That's not the way things are. Tell you what, I'll take you with me to work tomorrow for a factory tour. You can see for yourselves. We get to go work with Daddy! So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! The next morning, Daddy took the kittens to the factory and showed them his office. Awesome! Coming up with ideas for new sweets must be so much fun! You think it's easy to come up with new sweets, kittens? Of course! Like, um, eclairs with honey in them. Already have that. Uh, how about blueberry donuts? <laughs> Already got them. How about a cookie that's shaped like a car with chocolate wheels and marshmallow cats riding inside? Yum. We've got that as well. Well, the part where you make the sweets has got to be really, really fun. Oh, well, look for yourselves. We have several manufacturing departments where different cakes and cookies are prepared. Wow, that's so cool. <laughs> Let's go there, Daddy. This is where such ingredients as eggs, sugar, and flour are stirred together to create a base for future sweet treats. How a sweet comes out depends on the way the base is mixed in step one. You can mix it so that it comes out crunchy, brittle, or chewy. Oh. Oh. Cookie, stop! <laughs> Look, kittens, this is all quite complex equipment. Please ask permission before you touch any of it. I'm really sorry, Daddy. I thought it would be easier to operate. Here's the main assembly line. Here the dough base is placed on the conveyor, and along the line, cream is added, and then the berries. By the end, it's a finished cream tart. You can place some tarts on the line, but please be careful. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, goodness, my hat! Oh, my word! We have to stop the assembly line! <laughs> Daddy had to stop the main assembly line. <laughs> a cream-filled hat tart. Now that's a new sweet. Well, I can't wear it now, I guess. Guess not, but it's really good. The supermarket just called to make sure today's delivery is coming. But what's wrong? The assembly line is off. Uh, so we had a teeny tiny problem. <gasps> so we can't fill the order? I've got a really good idea. We can help you, right? There has to be some simple task that we can handle. <laughs> the kittens found it easy to put stamps on boxes. Soon, all the sweets were ready for delivery. Oh, right on time, as always. Thanks for the wonderful service and yummy treats. We aim to please. Plus, today at work, I've had a little extra help. Cookie candy pudding, thank you. Excellent work, kittens. We need to be getting back to the factory now. The kittens and I have more work to do. So me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! Now the kitty cats know that making sweet treats is not as easy as they thought, which makes them seem even more delicious. Piano practice. Candy said she wanted to learn to play the piano. <laughs> Great! Thanks! Now we can learn to play all sorts of tunes. You could play us lullabies at bedtime. Play something really.
really fun for our games. <laughs> 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 But first, Candy has to learn to play. Cupcake's mom will be giving her lessons. So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! All right, let's start with some scales. Now you give it a try. All right, now try the left paw. Wonderful! Now let's just repeat that from the top. Cookie and Pudding thought that Candy's lessons were very boring. Instead, they went to watch their favorite pirate show on TV. Hey! <laughs> Candy's lesson was one hour long. She needs to practice playing her scales every single day. <laughs> See you later. See you later. See you later. The next morning, the kittens decided to play pirates in the yard. <laughs> Yo -ho! Candy, remember you need to practice your piano scales for half an hour. <laughs> Candy, I don't hear you practicing. Okay, I'll start now. Pirate ship is setting sail toward the treasure island. <laughs> Arr! Oh no, we've been attacked by a sea monster. Arr! Arr! Don't let it gobble up our ship. <laughs> Arr! Arr! I'm missing the fun because I have to practice those silly scales. Hmm. I think you can help me. Can help me. Can help me. Arr! 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 Sea dogs! All hands on deck. But what about your practice? Oh, that. I'm all done. Good morning. Good morning. I just stopped by to see how Candy was getting on. Well, she's been practicing for quite a while. Oh. Huh? Hey! Candy, if you don't want to learn the piano, just say so. I want to play, I do. But what's the point in playing scales? But you must play scales to train your paws. Once you've practiced enough, you can play all sorts of tunes. Just listen to this. That's from our favorite show. I would love to play that. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> Looks like it's still too hard for you to play. Well, I know how to fix that. I must practice my scales to train my paws to play. After a few more lessons, Candy gathered everyone in the kitty cat's room. Done. Bravo! You did it! That was really great, Candy. Practicing scales really works. Practicing scales really works. <laughs> <laughs> so awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! The chance to learn a favorite tune was Candy's inspiration to play the piano and bring joy to everyone around her. Sunday. Early one Sunday morning, Mommy was going to the gym leaving Cookie, Candy, and Pudding at home with Daddy. Uh, uh. I'm off to my exercise class. Have a nice time. I'll take great care of the kittens. Will you be all right without me? We'll be just fine, Mommy. Yeah, we're never, ever bored with Dad. Yes, you're right about that. Bye, my loves. Hey, Dad, let's play some chess. And darts. Uh, all right, my wonderful children. It'll be Dolly's Chess and Darts. Hooray! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow. But where was Daddy? Come on! Are you going to play with us? 
Yeah, I'm coming, my beautiful children. Here's the plan. Miss Kitty Lou needs to try on all these pretty new dresses. Mm -hmm. Here, I've got the chessboard. I'll be white. Mm. Magnetic darts. Here, Dad, just hold the board. Sounds like tons of fun. Okay, here we go. Hooray. Oopsie. <sighs> oh, no, Dad's gone back to Sleepy Town. So the kind-hearted kitties let their hard-working dad have a well-deserved nap. Sort of. Wakey, wakey. Tickle, tickle, tickle. Tickle, tickle. tickle, tickle. tickle, tickle. Oh, Tommy Rob. Mm. How are we ever going to wake him up? I've got a great idea that just might do it. Oh, Daddy, water you sleeping for? But pudding, <laughs> if he gets all wet, he could catch a cold. <laughs> well, we could find something super crazy, massively loud, and put it next to him. Oh, Daddy! <laughs> Give him a horrible scare. How, How should, should we, we wake, wake him, him then? then? Maybe we just shouldn't. Why don't we all be nice to him and let him have his nap? When he wakes up, he'll have lots and lots of energy for playing games with us. Good, Good idea! Meow, 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 meow. Nighty night. So do you think he's slept enough yet? Not quite yet. And now? Well, I guess he might have. Can't really tell. Then shouldn't he be waking up? Stand back. I got this. Hello? If they ask, I'm in the factory doing a toffee inspection. Nap time. <sighs> Idea. When Mommy sings me lullabies, I rest way better. Why don't we sing Daddy one? Quiet kitties, Dad's asleep. Please don't purr or make a peep. Tired Daddy, close your eyes. I see your playing with Daddy wasn't boring at all. Wake up, my sleepy heads. Mom's here. Oh. Uh-huh. I'm 100% awake, rising and shining. <laughs> hey, get up, kids. Oh, can't we sleep just a bit longer? Because it is Sunday, after all. Well, I suppose. Just keep on sleeping. But me and Daddy will be having an awesome time outside, tossing this wonder disc around. Oh, boy. <laughs> this is going to be fun. <laughs> what? You got us a wonder disc? So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! Whether taking a little nap or playing together, Sunday is a wonderful family day. <laughs> Detectives! One day, Cookie, Candy, and Pudding decided to play with their favorite toys. Blub, blub, screech! Blub, blub, boom! My fish car rules! But Candy couldn't find her precious kitten doll. Miss Kitty Lou is gone! Guess you lost her. Know how you feel. Because I'm always losing my stuff. You leave your toys everywhere, but I take care of my doll. Ha <laughs> ha! You probably just left her somewhere. Maybe she'll turn up, you know, one day. Like maybe when we're a hundred. <laughs> but I want Miss Kitty Lou now, not in a hundred years. If Perlock Holmes, the great detective, were here, he'd help us find her in no time. I've been reading about his super duper smart deduction method. What did you just say? Duck, what was that? Deduction method. It means that you have to think really hard about something you lost and then go look. It's pretty much the most geniusy way to look for stuff. <laughs> Elementary. It won't work. Perlock Holmes is in books. He can't really help me. But we can become great detectives too and find Miss Kitty Lou for you. Oh, awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! 
So, Miss Candy Cat, exactly how big would you say your missing doll was? Sort of this big, sir. That big, huh? Too big to lose in the grass. Oh, mm. I know a place something that big could hide for sure. Oh, I'm okay. Dark in here. Hello? Found something? Miss Kitty Lou? Better. Dad's old hat with a visitor living in it. Look. <laughs> How on earth did Dad's hat end up as an owl house? Guess he must have left it laying around somewhere. So, Miss Candy Cat, please tell me where the last place you saw Miss Kitty Lou was. It was in the sand pit, sir. We were making sand castles and it started to rain. That's it then. Your doll must be buried in the sand. Any luck? Think so. Is it my kitty? Better. One of my cars. Putting stinky sock. And a mole. Ah. How did my car end up buried in the sand? Elementary, my dear cookie. You just didn't put it back where it belongs. Where did you put Miss Kitty Lou then? I just don't know. Maybe we aren't great detectives after all. <laughs> yes, we are. Well. You've got me thinking. Let's try finding my doll stroller. When the rain started, I put Kitty Lou right near her stroller. This could be an important piece of the puzzle, Miss Candy Cat. Lead the hunt! And so the three detectives set out on their search for the missing doll's also missing stroller. Up and down they searched. <laughs> it wasn't always easy. But world-class detectives never give up. I found some tracks. Stroller tracks? Possibly. I wonder where they go. Let's follow them. The mysterious tracks led back to the kitty's own house. Ah! Guys, I found it. But the stroller's empty. Hey, what's this thread doing here? Oh, that's Miss Kitty Lou's hair. Hey, look, it's another one. The kitty detectives followed the trail of threads. Founder! Looks like Mommy's the culprit in the lost doll mystery. Yep, guilty as charged. I found her in the stroller dripping wet, so I pushed the stroller back to the house and I hung her up to dry. Thank you, Mommy. I guess this means the case is solved. When you're finished playing, you should put your doll back where she belongs. I found my lost car and pudding smelly sock. Oh. <laughs> Look at my little detectives. And guess whose daddy got his paws on a copy of the new Perlock Holmes board game? Awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! Being a detective is great fun, but it's good to put your toys back where they belong so you can find them when you're ready to have fun again. The Kitten's Little Cousin. One day, Mommy told the kitty cats that they had guests coming over. Kittens, guess what's happening today? My sister, your Aunt Cinnamon, is coming to visit. And she'll be bringing her little son, Bagel, along with her. We have a real-life cousin? So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! I'm curious what our cousin, Bagel, is really like. I'm sure he's really well-behaved. Good afternoon, cousin. What a charming bow you have. Huh? I'm sure that he loves to read. <laughs> and I bet he's good at playing soccer. <laughs> With him on our side, we'll have the best team ever. Or an amazing music band. <laughs> Hi. Hello there, Cinnamon. Auntie Cinnamon. <laughs> Hello there, little kittens. My, how big you've all gotten. Where's Bagel? We want to meet our cousin. Of course, here's your cousin. <laughs> um, is that really our cousin? Now, sweetie, behave yourself. You play with your little cousin and we'll go make some tea. The kittens hadn't expected Bagel to be so little. They didn't know what to do. He can't even walk. How can we play with him? And he really can't talk at all. Oh, be careful. This is my very favorite dolly. See this cool 
ball bagel? You can play with it if you want to, all right? <laughs> I guess you're too small to play with it right. Hey, look at this. It's the best game ever. It's called chess. <laughs> oh, ball! Yeah. Where my chess set? You can't play with my doll. <laughs> or with my toy cars. <laughs> we should try to calm him down. <laughs> we can't let him play with the windmill model. It's for kittens that are way bigger than him. If he plays with it, it'll get broken. That's it. I have a really good idea. We just need to find some baby toys for him. When I was just a little kitten, I loved this rattle very much. Look, isn't it cute? The kittens found the toys they had played with when they were little themselves. Become real friends with Bagel. Well, we need to make sure we come visit you guys more often. So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! The kitty cat saw that playing with little kittens can be fun, especially if you try to remember what it was like to be a baby yourself. Kitty Fun Fair. One day, an exciting traveling fun fair came to town. We're headed to a real life fun fair. Oh boy, this is going to be the best day ever. We should try every single ride there. It's a shame that the fair is only here for one day. Kittens, don't worry. We'll all have a really wonderful time. Right. We'll take pictures after every ride so we'll never forget the fun time. So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! He wanted to ride the roller coaster with the really big loops. Hmm, I'm sorry, little fella, but this ride isn't suitable for kittens. You have to be taller than this to ride it. Well, what if I crawled up on Pudding's shoulders so that huh? we'd look as tall as a grown-up? Well, you are taller, but you still look too young. Hmm? <laughs> We can make mustaches and beards out of cotton candy so everyone thinks that we're grandpas! It's not about how old you are, but how tall. If you're too short, the seatbelts won't hold you in. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> that is very not safe. Let's go to the fun house with the crazy mirrors that makes us look wobbly. That'll cheer us up. <laughs> 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 Happy pieces for the picture album. I didn't find that very fun at all. Huh? Well, first my tail looked enormous, then it was too little. Then I looked all wonky and crooked. <laughs> yeah, fun house. There's more attractions over there. Look, we must ride the adorable ducks. No way. Let's try that haunted house there. Is it really scary in there? No way! It's the coolest! Yeah? Okay, then. Well, then I'm going to ride the ducks. All right, have fun, kittens. Daddy and I will wait here. We'll take a nice photo of your smiling faces when you're back. Ah, <laughs> 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 oh, that spider's just made of plastic. <laughs> and that snake's just made of rubber. <laughs> Huh? 
<laughs> and now for the picture. Well, we don't seem to have any happy pictures so far. I was very scared. I wanted the ducks to go fast. Nothing was real on that ride. There are more attractions over there, darlings. <laughs> My phone battery ran out. Attention guests, the huh? traveling fun fair will be closing huh? soon. Huh. And we still haven't got a photo where everyone is happy. And the fun fair is moving on tomorrow. <laughs> I have a really good idea. We just need to find a ride that everybody will like. Even if we can't take a photo. Yeah. The kittens and their parents decided to ride the Ferris wheel. Ow. Wow, we're really high. It's sort of scary, but it's really cool as well. And it's really beautiful. Haha, <laughs> 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 Cookie looks like someone's grandfather. At least now you can get on the rides that are just for grown-ups. <laughs> <laughs> oh, looks like we'll get our picture after all. Everyone, now we have a happy picture for the Funfair album. And we are all smiling in it. Yeah, but Daddy blinked, though. Oh, no, I've ruined the whole thing. I think we have time for one more ride, and we'll get another chance at the picture. Awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! <laughs> the Ferris wheel turned out to be the kitty cat family's favorite ride and helped make the trip to the fair a really special happy being together memory for them all. Surprise! It was a holiday, National Kittens Day. A special day when parents give their kittens little gifts to celebrate. This kitten's day, you'll be getting one big present to share, my kittens, but it's a so awesome ah. one. You'll get your present this evening, but try to be patient. It'll be a surprise. So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! These kittens just couldn't bear the wait for evening. Look, a delivery truck is delivering something. It must be huge. Wow, that box is massive. Our present must be inside. Yep, Mommy <laughs> did say that it would be a big surprise. <laughs> that box is big enough that it might have a complete set of plant encyclopedias. <laughs> It's so big, it could hold all the parts of a real-life pirate ship. All hands on deck! <laughs> Maybe it's a big musical instrument, like a beautiful harp. Well, the box is so big, it could have almost anything inside. Find out what it is until this evening. I'll never be able to wait that long. Let's go and take a look inside the box right now. Mommy and Daddy said it's a Kitten's Day surprise. We can pretend to be surprised tonight when we open it. All right, but Mommy and Daddy probably hit the box. We need to find it and be super stealthy, you guys. <laughs> <laughs> the kittens looked all over the house, but they didn't find the box. Where could they hide a box that big? We've looked everywhere in the house. Not down there. <gasps> Let's open it right now! That is a surprise. You think that Mommy and Daddy want to redecorate our room using this giant vase? But it will get in the way of everything. But we still have to pretend to be surprised and happy when we open it again later, or Mommy and Daddy will be disappointed. <sighs> K 
kittens. The time has come for your present. Your big surprise is waiting in your room. Come find out what it is. Hooray! Surprise! All right, lift the box off. I want to see your faces when you see what's inside. I'm not sure I can pretend to be happy and surprised at all. <laughs> We already know there's just a vase in the box. We couldn't help it and had a look inside earlier. We're sorry that we ruined your nice surprise. Why not look inside the box anyway? Maybe you'll still find a surprise. Huh. Whoa! Oh. Wow, wow, look, at, look that. at that! It's a magic tower with clocks! And it lights up in the dark. That's why we wanted to give it to you in the evening, so you could see it in all its glory. We bought it a couple of weeks ago. The vase is a present for Grandma, but the vase box was just exactly the right size to put your actual present inside and help give all of you a nice surprise. So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! Thank you! <laughs> <laughs> the kitty cats had a lovely evening with their parents, celebrating Kitten's Day and they realize that surprises are worth waiting for. The Mysterious Cake Chomper. One day, Daddy baked a wonderful cake. My darling, what a lovely cake you made. Can't wait to try it. We'll have it after dinner for dessert, of course, but for now, let's let it soak up the cream. So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! Now I just need to find a glass cover so your cake will stay nice and fresh. Cookie decided to have a closer look at the cake. And then he decided to try it. And then... I think this cover will do nicely. Oh, where did Daddy's cake go? That's a good question. Wasn't it just sitting right there? Cookie must have eaten it. No, it wasn't me. It was... It was... The Cake Chomper. Who now? The Cake Chomper? <laughs> wow, never heard of him before. What did it look like, Cookie? Well, uh, well, he had a cape, a spotted one, and a strange metal hat. Uh, and it was wearing purple mittens. <laughs> And it was hooting like an owl. It ate the cake and then ran off somewhere. There's a cake chomper hiding in the house somewhere, and there isn't a moment to lose. We have to track him down right away. Let's go. Uh, uh, <laughs> the whole family started searching for the mysterious cake chomper. It's not behind the sofa, either. Oh, what could the spoon be doing here? Uh, uh, the cake chomper must have accidentally dropped it. I'll look for it over here. Ooh, 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 ooh. Everybody, the cake chomper was just here, and I think it ran into Mommy's room. Cake chomper, are you here? <laughs> Look here! I found footprints, see? Looks like the cake chomper must have walked through some chalk. It would seem he has two left feet, which is weird. The chomper also transported himself into Mommy's room without leaving any more footprints. Cake chompers are even more mysterious than they are hungry. Well, I'm not gonna believe it exists until I see it. Okay. Oh, it looks like the cake chopper is branching out from cake to jam. Aha! Oh, oh, oh. uh -huh. Now we know who the cake chopper is. Cookie, why didn't you just admit you ate the cake yourself? I didn't want everybody to be angry with me. I'm sorry. We're not mad at you, Cookie. Was the jam really tasty? <laughs> yeah, it was. And was the cake really yummy? 
It was so yummy. I have a really great idea. Cookie should just make another cake, and we can help him. That is a great idea, and I'll teach you how. So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! Would each of you kittens like a slice or two? Yes, please. But let's keep an extra slice on the side. Yeah, just in case good old Cake Chopper pops in for tea. <laughs> 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 so on this day, Cookie learned that it's always better to tell the truth and to cook up a solution to make up for it. Championship. With only a few more days left until kickoff, you can bet the stadium will be flooded with fans very soon. And here comes our city's own team and their glorious captain. <laughs> are we going to the stadium too? Of course we are, kittens. It's the only way to truly support our team. Oh. <laughs> In fact, I was just about to call and book our tickets this minute. We'll get to watch the game right there at the stadium, just like real fans! So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! <laughs> we'll get to see our team win! And after the game, we can drive back waving our winning team's flags! No! No! Huh? <gasps> There are no more tickets left. They've already sold out every seat. Oh, all is lost. Aww. It doesn't really matter, my darling. I'm sure we'll survive. We'll just watch the game on television. <laughs> Come now, I'll make some nice tea for you. Poor Daddy, he's such a mega fan. I feel bad for him now. Attention, soccer fans. The contest for the best trick with a soccer ball is now underway. The winner will be awarded an official team ball, presented by the captain himself. Hey, we need to win that ball for Daddy, because that would really cheer him up. I will now bounce this ball on my head a hundred times. One, two, three, oops. Just a sec. This time for real. One, two, three. Oh. One, two, three. Oh. 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 One, two. Oh. All right, maybe I can't bounce it a hundred times. Well, maybe you could make just one tricky shot. A super incredible one. Hey, Cookie here. I will now kick this ball through that door. Then it'll roll down the slide on the other side. Cool, let's try. Ah! Ugh. Ouch! Ouch! I don't think I can do it. I have a really good idea, but to make it work, we'll need a little help from our friends. The kitten's friends agreed to help them perform the ball trick. We ready? Yeah! yeah! All right, let's do it! Got it. Now let's send this into the trick shot contest. The next day, they announced the contest winner. And the winner of the trick shot contest huh? is Cat the Artist. Aww. For his creative approach to soccer. He will receive an official team ball from the captain. But we'd also <laughs> like to mention another special video from the kitty cats and friends. No way, they're showing our video. And as a special prize, all these adorable kittens and their parents will receive tickets to the championship game. Awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! 
Baseball Stadium is completely full today. The home team leads with a score of 2 to 0. The captain's power kick. The ball soars high into the air and it's by the right of the hand of the Watching the championship match and cheering for your team from the stands can be a wonderful experience, especially when you're with your family. The phone! <laughs> One fun fall day, the kitty cats were playing with their friends on the playground. <laughs> then along came Chase. Meow! Meow! Look what my father just gave to me! A, a cell phone! phone. <laughs> <sighs> it's got a music app with tons of songs. It takes photos. Meow, meow, meow. <laughs> <laughs> but most importantly, check this out. Super cool. Perfect. Yeah. Awesome. <laughs> Can I have a turn playing too? And me! Can I also have a turn? But first, me! Come on, come on, go! The kitty cats played with Chase's new phone for hours. So I'm gonna ask Chase if I can borrow his phone after lunch so I can take a picture of a slug that I found. And then I want to use it to listen to my very favorite song. I'll finish my cyber soccer tournament, too. Wait a sec! Ugh. Oh! Hey, we should ask Mommy and Daddy to buy us each a telephone. That way, we won't need to ask for Chase's phone all the time. So, so awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! Well, a phone is very useful when you need to call someone and talk to them about something. But using it all the time is not good. Imagine what would happen if everyone spent all their time talking on the phone instead of to each other in person. Meow there, Cupcake. How have you been? Long time no see. Candy, it has been a while. We should really meet up sometime. Or if instead of listening to real live music, only listened on their phones. Huh? Uh. Or imagine if everyone only played phone soccer instead of the real thing. And the ball hasn't moved once in 44 minutes! Boo! Yuck! That wouldn't be anything like soccer! We live in the real world instead of on the phone. Thank, Thank you, Mommy. Mommy! Super yummy, Mommy. My pleasure, kids. Time to play! Boris, Dart, and Smudge were still glued to Chase's new phone. They couldn't put it down. Goal! Ten to zero! So awesome! I have a really good idea. We have to get them to play with us instead of the telephone. Another goal. Awesome. What? Smudge, let's play some soccer while you're waiting for your phone turn. Yeah, all right. Dart and Boris are ahead of me in line to use the phone anyhow. <laughs> <laughs> Goal. Goodness, this is fun. Huh? <laughs> Boris, I'm gonna play while you're busy with the phone. <laughs> <laughs> Goal. Well, it looks like I won, just like last time. All right then, who wants to play next? Huh? Huh? Uh, uh, Goal! Uh. Hey, wow, a real live soccer game. Hey, everybody, can I play? Yeah, Chase, we could use a good striker. Catch it! Hooray! This is even better than on the phone. <laughs> Meow? Mommy? Yeah, I'm here at the park. All of us are going to play a game of real life soccer now. Hooray! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! <laughs> 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 Phones are great for calling someone when you need to talk to them. Goal! But playing is always more fun in the real world with friends. <laughs> <laughs>